Hello, and welcome to The Panelists, the show where we solve problems, worthwhile yet esoteric quandaries for sophisticated mind. This week, Team Burj Khalifa. I don't know why we're referencing Wiz Khalifa. It's a building in Dubai. It's very tall, very prestigious. We'll be facing off against Team Burj Salurfa. I tried to ship us. It didn't go that well, but no. I'm hopeful. About the relationship or the name of the team? Why not both? I have bad news for you, but I also have good news for you. Good news! Ooh, I like good news. Me too. Through a mystery of the universe, you have actually been teleported to the edge of known space. Ooh. Before you is a beautiful, crackling nothingness that defies imagination, and it is amazing and beautiful. But you are there with only one other person, a gift shop proprietor. The bad news is that they don't take credit cards because the cell reception here is very bad. So if you wish to buy a souvenir, all you can use is the change in your pocket. So that means all you can afford is a rather dinky fridge magnet that will make people think that you made all this up. Do you buy the fridge magnet? I don't see why there's any reason why you wouldn't buy the fridge magnet. If anything, it's a cool story for yourself to have. Mm -hmm. and that and uh, every magnet that, I, that I've encountered in the past five years has actually been a bottle opener as well. That's so true. I would actually love a bottle opener from the edge of the universe. Does it? And it could actually, at that point, if they're trying to get rid of them, come with space beer. Mm -hmm. And I'm all, as like a person who likes to try all kinds of new beers, I'm all about space drink. I'm going to argue against this. I am very anti-clutter. And even in a hopeless situation where I've been cast to the edge of the universe, I don't want no junk. Also, we didn't get to hear that we'd get to go back. <laughs> it's a riddle. You give them the money, you can't buy the bus ticket home. Yes, but, but, reversal, we actually get to drink the space beer. And the thing I is- I don't drink regular beer. Yeah, like, yeah but, totally but here. that's the thing. You don't know if space, if space beer is this complete reversal of like anything you've known about alcohol here on Earth. Well, then what makes it beer? <laughs> if it's not brewed the same way as beer, then it's probably something else. Our, like our definition of beer is so limiting. Mm -hmm. And in the grand scheme of space, they, they've seen our, what we call beer and, 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 and embarked on a whole it's other journey with it. all that. new. Everything is new on the edge of forever. I argue this is the same argument you made 15 years ago when you tried to get me to drink beer for the first time. Enablers. They're enablers. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's cycle back to a, another point that, that you guys made. Sure. You said you were very anti-clutter, but I feel like as a Magic the Gathering player, Surge, that doesn't happen. You don't bring that into this. And I have an immaculate collection, the, I'll have you know. The KonMari method specifically states only throw away those things that are not bringing you joy. Surge, does your toolkit bring you joy? It does. Then he gets to keep it. Fridge magnets, not exactly clutter, because they're one of the few things that you can put on a horizontal surface and Except keep it there. Except we don't have a fridge. If you don't have a fridge, it's just a piece of clutter. It just lives in your pocket where your change used to be. Well, no, it doesn't live in my pocket. It just lives right there. This is the edge of space, Surge. There's no gravity. There's no planet. There's nothing. There's just me, this bottle opener, and all the space beer I can put in my body. We have reached the point of, of complete serenity, and by ingesting the space beer, have opened our third eye and have now been able to create our very own kitchen. Point of order. There's also a gift shop at the end of the universe, and they have a variety of delightful things which you do not have the money to purchase. And unlimited beer. Yes, and now that we've opened up our third eye by consuming the space beer, we now have the ability to fold space in on itself and get home. So if you want a ride, you better get that beer. The beer up. must flow, Beach. Here's a, here's a better question from a frugal point of view. Mm -hmm. Say you get home and you're telling the story, does the fridge magnet make it any more believable, or have you just wasted your money? I believe the point literally was it did not make it believable at all. Then I'm going to save my money. At no point did we ever say that we are doing this for anybody else. And that, I don't believe, was even the the point of the question. That was absolutely the point of the question. No, 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 no. <laughs> The point of the question was not to bring something home to convince other people with. It was, which one would you pick? And we picked the one that allows us to have a great memory, not get to the edge of space go, Neat, and then leave. I argue that if I made it to the edge of space, I don't need a fridge magnet to remind me that I was at the edge of space. Yeah, it's... and I don't want to get so drunk on space beer that I'm gonna forget about it. Ooh. That I'll need a fridge magnet no, to remind we me. We found I'm the not... problem. We found the problem. They're they're blackout drunk. Ben, I think we need to reframe the question just a little bit. Who's going to believe more that we've gone to the edge of space, sober beach, or drunk beach? I've never met drunk beach. You you'd like drunk beach. 
I don't think Beach has met Drunk Beach. Also, point of order, the only problems we're allowed to solve here are the ones that I come up with. <laughs> At the end of the day, if in this magical world we, we are taking the bus home to get home from the edge of space, mm -hmm. and we can't because we spent our money on this dope bottle opener and drank space beer. Now we get to live at the edge of space and maybe we work at this gift shop and we see all the transient people that come through. We get to continuously experience the gift shop at the end of the universe and, and every I, day. I don't want to harp on this, but when we bought bus tickets, I told you to get the round trip. Yeah, but you don't necessarily need to go back. I do. Why? Because I got some really good earth beer back home. Ah, so we have Sorry, I can't keep track of your team names because they are frustratingly alike. So now you are Team Surge and Beige, and you guys are Team Trying to Confuse the Host. So Team Trying to Confuse the Host, you get four points for, in fact, inventing a beautiful scenario in which Ben ends up at some sort of magical cafe anime Mine situation. Sounds like, yeah. Mine sounds like an anime. <laughs> and Team Surge and Beige, or whatever you're supposed to be called. I like our team name. It's a good name. It's practical. You get three points for appealing to my hatred of clutter. But you don't get full points because realistically I feel like you're kind of like squandering an opportunity to be at the edge of the universe. I... Don't I'll let you with the judge. my space beer. Thank you for your generosity, host. At least they have good men. You got a half point for being so, so, uh, so good about losing the round. But good news! The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has had it up to here with people's stupid names for their dogs. He was walking down the street in New York the other day and he met someone who had named their dog Alan. One L or two? Two. So with that, he has decided that he is going to intervene and the United Nations has decided that no more dumb names for dogs. Your task as the world's preeminent pair of problem-solving mystery teams is to come up with a better universal dog name. Ban Ki-moon. I'm sorry, what? Wow, yeah, damn, you beat me to it. What? <sighs> That's previous Secretary General of the United Nations, Bang Ki Moon. Oh. Wait, would no, you prefer Kofi Annan? I would. I mean, I don't have an explicit would preference you, between my United Nations leaders. Whether, but. <laughs> whether or not you want to call your dog Ban, mm -hmm. or whether you want to call your dog Kofi, mm -hmm. I think the obvious choice is Boutros Boutros. Oh, Boutros Boutros is very good. Do you not want to yell that out at the top of your lungs? I'm really thinking about which ones I want to yell out. I think you need to make a few massages to these names. So yeah, Boutros Boutros, good, because you can just yell that all day. Boutros Boutros. I kind of want to switch over with Ben here. I'm, yeah. not... <laughs> I'm over here being like, man, you know what would be a great name for a dog? What's like that? Gary. Yeah. And then you guys are going on your own little adventure. I'm, I'm cool with being on Surge's team all right, now. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Sorry, Beej. I... Ian, switch with me. Is this allowed? Sure. Okay. It's what's happening. Well, this is highly irregular. All right. We've seen how the sausage is made. We've gone too deep down the sausage hole. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Team Good Dog Names? Yeah. Since the teams have all been mixed up, you've forfeited all points from the previous round. So this question will decide which team reigns supreme. Team. Point of order. Uh, we have a new team name. Yes. Beej Khalifa. Beej Khalifa. Okay, what's your team name? Burge. Yeah, what's up? That doesn't... Oh, it does still work. It's the better ship, really. Yeah. yeah. I found love. Burge v. Burge. So anyway, Banky, I think, is a great name for an animal of any sort because Banky. it has that, that, that like, like, E sound at the end of it. And everyone will, everyone will ask it. you whether yeah. you meant to call them Banksy. What's that, Banky? Kofi's down in the well? We already know that one of the, the most, like, search names next to, like, Jason is Gary. Mm -hmm. Gary, Gary, and you people are frequently looking for their dogs mm -hmm. because you know they go missing all the time. Science, and scientifically proven. So Gary rings out uh, way better in the searching of a dog scenario. It just it, it suits the, the vocal cords better. Mm -hmm. Gary, like <laughs> you cough. If you try and say Banky, it'll hurt you. Yeah, if you say Kofi, people are gonna think, oh yeah, the coffee. Starbucks I is love over it. there. I'm thirsty. Let's go for Kofi. Yeah, and Serge knows coffee. It's what I'm. It's what I bleed. Yeah. Lit, really? Yeah, it's a medical condition from drinking too much coffee. I noticed they're not trying to address Boutros Boutros as a name because I think it's much superior. No, no, no. Another science thing. Dog names, two syllables. Dogs have limited hearing. They can't hear after that. The second, Boutros, just mm -hmm. wasted. It's the same as the first Boutros, which makes it does double duty. You say it twice and you're, you're calling your dog twice at the same time. It, it's called classical conditioning. I never call a dog Gary Gary. That's ridiculous. Yes, ga one Gary. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You, have, you, have you not heard of the famous jazz musician Boutros Boutros King? You no, I super haven't. <laughs> in fact, I would argue that of the like six people in this room, you're the one or two people that know it. Who knows about BB King? His name I... is Boutros? Well, it could be. <laughs> and they named him twice. Yes. It's very nice. Here's the thing. 
Mm -hmm. When having an argument, you can't bring in all your niche bullshit that mm. comes along with like they're your trying, whole phone. They're trying to pull a Kansas City shuffle on us. Yeah, you can't. You can't go. Like I could be like, man, you know what is one of the greatest Pokemon out there? Mm -hmm. uh, it would be most, Pikachu. Well, I was gonna say Entei. You know, one of the legendary dogs. I don't know that. How much one. do you know about Entei, Ian? We have you heard of Entei here. Raikou or Suicune? They <laughs> might have a point because I remember Gary and not whatever that Pokemon was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They should name Pokemon after actual people. Yeah, like Boutros, Boutros, Gally. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we're on. I'm on your team now. Also, Gary is in the universe of Pokemon, and that comes full oh, circle. Checkmate! Ooh, wow. Damn, Team Burge represent. Huh. If only this question was about Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It was much more suited to something specifically relating to one jazz musician. I mean, he's kind of a big deal. Baby <laughs> King. The man's a legend. Nobody listens to jazz music. He's a blues musician. You said jazz. Since blues is a subset of jazz. See, now he's changing his story. Should have gone with Gary. Yeah, <gasps> the UN wouldn't take kindly to somebody who just flip flops on what kind of Ooh. musical genre they're talking about. No scientific We basis. walk in, we have a big sign that comes down. Mm -hmm. Just says, says Gary. Just says Gary. That's all you need. Except I, I think. I think the UN would take very kindly to people who want to name dogs after leaders of the UN. Mm, right. Beloved leaders of the what UN. What about people who own dogs that don't like the UN? Those people go to the Hague. Whereas nobody gets hurt with Gary. No, they don't. Gary, 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 Gary is loves judgment you. free. Yeah. Gary's just like Gary no, loves up? you unconditionally. If you have a ball, loves you even more. Mm hmm. Checkception. How many kings are we playing <laughs> with? Two v two. Apparently, None. the this one. This is for the UN. No ah. kings. No kings. Only. Only no, secretary generals. No gods. Generals. No masters. You won't be fooled again. Yeah. So now they're talking about the monarchy when we're clearly that talking about democracy. That was a who reference. Come on. The what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, I reckon. It's all right. It's all right. It's a new show, and like the old one, I will. I too will be thrown under the bus. It's okay to not know things. Did you make sure to get a round trip ticket for that bus? I don't need one, because I have bus fare. And on that note, we have team fan service ship, who has said that Gary is the superior dog's name. Carrie Fisher named her dog Gary. It's a good name for a dog. Oh, no. And team non-binding resolution, who has suggested Boutros Boutros as the best possible name for a dog, which I do say, it is brings me great personal joy to say Boutros Boutros. I think it might be better for a pangolin. Team Boutros Boutros, you get two points, one for each Boutros. Team Carrie Fisher's dog name. You seem very invested. You get two and a half points. Yeah, yeah, that's all we needed. Oh. Congratulations, you win. There are no prizes. This has been The Panelists. If you have a question to pose to the panelists, you can send it to us and we may or may not help you. Send your queries to help at loadingreadyrun.com. And please join us next week for more problem solving.